It's one thing for companies to come up with hotkeys because hotkeys enable us to use a stream deck, which for streamers and content creators is clutch. But when they take it to another level and they come up with a stream deck profile, <laughs> that's a whole nother game changer. And that's what Evie Mux has done. In fact, if you look in there, what's new, you'll see that they've come out with a whole stream deck profile. If you go into settings, go to hotkeys, you'll see that stream deck profile is downloadable. Download it to your system, select whether you want Windows or Mac, and it opens up a whole new set of buttons on your Stream Deck, which is clutch. But maybe you still want to know exactly what do these buttons do? Why would I even want to do this? Maybe you might ask. Let's take a look at all of the things that EVMUX has given us in the full video. <laughs> So here we are looking at the EVMUX Studio. And if you did not know this before, if you go right up here to where your name is, your login name, um, and hit the little arrow, you can log out here. You can actually adjust your name here, but right in the middle, some it's very easy to miss. You, can, you have a button that says, what's new? Um, and I go in here from time to time to just check on some things and the, Right now, there are actually a couple of new items from EV Mux. The first is new brand fonts. I know that that's a weird sentence, right? So new colon brand fonts. And so everybody knows that you have your brand tab or brand area. And now we have new fonts that have been added to that area. So uh, they're saying they're excited to introduce brand fonts, allowing you to set a custom font for banners, comments, and lower thirds. This new feature ensures consistency for uh, your look across your live stream, um, aligning with your brand. Try it now and enhance your customization. Okay, that's what it's all about. Putting your fingerprint on that thing, right? Uh, allowing people to see your flair, your style, your you know, secret sauce, as they say. And the more that, that, that these platforms give us abilities and functions and features that let us really put our stamp on it, this is something that works very well. Uh, so you can see kind of what it looks like here. They give you a little bit of a, uh, a preview right in the what's new section. If you haven't been checking out what's new, let me know in the comments if this is, if just, if just the what's new section is new to you. Uh, shout out to my guy, Darius O'Kane, uh, who, who actually brought this up even first. And I actually got a chance to check out his video. Um, you can click next, or you can just go across the bottom here. You can see there are several items here that are new import export scenes, something that we've covered in a previous video. Uh, we also have shapes. So you have rectangles, you have squircles, you have circles, um, that you can change your camera to. You now have the RSS feed ticker. And again, we've actually covered these in a previous video. Scrolling text uh, is another one that we covered in a previous video. Haven't really touched on this one. I didn't want to because I don't really see a lot of people utilizing this. But again, it's one of those widgets that EVMUX has, and it's pretty dope. Uh, then we have cut transition. So cut transition is another one that is new. And we're going to kind of demo both cut transition and our new brand fonts, along with the, 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 the title track, right, for this video, the number one feature release that we are super excited about, which is EVMUX Stream Deck Profile. And for those that are with us, you're, you're rocking, you're tracking, you see this, you're like, whoa, 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 need some steps on this. We're going to get into all of the things in just a moment. But again, you just go right up here to Kurt, to your name, click on what's new, and you'll see everything that they are, they, they have come out with in the past few months. Now, if I do want to go into my brand, I can go here to layers. Uh, sorry, not layers. You want to go right here to where it says brand. It's at the bottom of this screen. And if yours is, has been hidden like mine was, you just hit the little arrow, bring that out, go to the word, the bottom, and you can click on brand. And inside brand now, you've got your brand banners and comments style. So this is the style of them. You can see what that style looks like. You can see what that style looks like. Um, and then you have your font family, right? So font family, and it shows there that this font is used in your banners, social comments, and lower thirds. And so right now I have it at default, but you've got a number of different fonts that have been added. So definitely something to look into 
Um, let's put a banner up. Got a banner. Uh, let's get a banner up. Banners here. Let's get this banner up. We have that banner now. Now let's go back to brand and let's go play with some of these fonts. So there's what that font looks like. And that's what you're going to have to do is just kind of go through, put a banner up and play with some of your fonts and see, you know, which one really speaks to you, which one uh, kind of goes with your brand. And again, it's not anything that is, you know, just standard and across the board. You have the ability to kind of play around with it, make it your own. Um, that is what the fonts is, looks like, which is pretty cool. The other thing they talked about is a pro scenes feature, which are transitions between different uh, pro scenes that you have. So here I've got a pro scene that has my camera. Um, probably need to take down that banner. You can see that is highlighted by that red dot. All right, back to layers. We hide that again. Um, and so here you click on the three dots and you can actually change your stinger transition. So if I go to stinger transition uh, right now, I have slide up selected. You can see that that's what's selected, but they have this new one that's just cut. And this was not here before. So let's turn it on. Let's save that for this scene. Let's go back to dynamic grid and go back to host main. And you'll see that it just it's just a cut. And I mean, to me, it's, it's pretty basic, but that's something that people wanted. So that is something that they now have. You can see what the slide up looks like, and then you can look and see what the cut looks like. And again, you can decide what you want to do in between your, your different scenes because um, there are many different versions that you can utilize. So that's what that looks like. Um, and that would be something to, to be mindful of. Lastly, and most importantly, we have our uh, stream deck profile. And so let me do that again. You come back here to where it says settings, click on that, go down to the third option, which is hotkeys, click on that. And then in here, you will see all of your hotkeys, right? These are keyboard strokes or keyboard combinations <laughs> that you can press to do certain things. And there are a ton of them inside EVMUX. I mean, it, you scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And so one of the things you want to do, I, I'm going to say this right here. One of the things you want to do is reset your, um, your hotkeys. If you don't reset them, then there is no guarantee that the stream deck profile that you download will work. So you want to make sure you reset them and hit on, hit down that reset button. So you reset all your hotkeys back to what the defaults are. And that's going to fill in all of your hotkeys. None of them are going to be blank, which is great. So you hit that reset button and then you can go here and click on click here to download your e, the EVMUX preset. You click on that. It's going to download a zip file onto your computer. And this is what that zip file extracts to look like. So you can see EVMUX stream that profile and you can see here that it's got EVMUX windows. Uh, let me zoom in on that EVMUX windows. You have the instructions file and then you have EVMUX Mac. So depending on what platform you're using, again, just remember that EVMUX is a web-based platform. So there is no <laughs> compatibility issues. As long as you have a browser that is compatible with EVMUX, in my case, I'm using Google Chrome, um, I can use EVMUX. So, but the Stream Deck application, which is, compatible with both platforms, there is a specific version. So you want to make sure you down, down, once you download the file, then you want to double click on the correct version. So I've double clicked on the Mac profile and then what that does inside stream deck, right? So I have my stream deck profile up here. You click on it. You can click on configure stream deck. That's going to bring up this window. And inside here you have profiles. So you see, I've got a number of profiles here and I even have one called EV Mux, but this was before they had their own. And I created a number of hotkeys custom to what I was doing. So this is no longer valid because I've reset my hotkeys to the ones that are default from EV Mux so that I can utilize this new uh, profile. And you can see that these keys have been added here. Dynamic, uh, previous scene, next scene, you have show hide comments. 
Um, you have preview, hide stream. There's this, this is a really good page that kind of helps you to control certain things. Let's kind of demo that a little bit. Here I am on a dynamic scene. I'm going to add another camera there. Um, and you can actually see my stream deck here. So dynamic scene is already selected and that's what that top key is. You can see that right there. Um, if I go and bring up comments, you can see the comments comes up. Uh, if I go to previous camera, this is a weird one, but this one is, is this, this button here, this one here actually does previous camera. And then the one here hides your camera. You can see that that hides it. And then the third one here goes to your next camera. Now, what do I mean by this? All right. So if I go down here to camera, uh, sorry, if I go to <laughs> the wheel and I go to camera, all right now I'm in the I'm on the camera section of my settings screen. I have a, my HD uh, C920 webcam here selected. If I the previous camera in this list is the Insta360 link, and then the and then of course those are next to one another. So this ordered list is how your cameras will be um, situated. So uh, and it it only has to do with your primary camera. So let's actually remove this just for a quick test so you can guys can get a feel for what it does. So here I hit preview previous camera. It goes to the stream deck. I hit previous camera again It's going to pick up uh, Ecamm live, which is what I'm using to record and we get the infinity effect. I'm going to go to next camera. It goes back to the stream deck. Next camera again, it goes back to my Logitech C920. And that's pretty clutch. Hide your camera, unhide your camera. That's pretty clutch. Um, again, you can go to show your banner. You can go to next banner. These are the, the icons that are here. Next banner, right? Go left or right. And then I got banner three, right? That's going to show right or left. And then I have banner four, get a free trial, uh, using the link below. If, if you've been, if you are interested in the EV Mux, uh, if you like what you're seeing thus far, you would definitely be uh, able to get a free trial by going to my link, Kirk on live slash EV Mux. Uh, but yeah, I'm just literally controlling things using the stream deck. And to be clear, I'm not even, I don't even have the window open right now. See, so this is actually closed. This is where normally I would go for all of the functions and features that I'm you currently utilizing and I can turn off that. So that's what that first page looks like. So here, let's go to page number two and page number two, there's a number of different things. Uh, we have some sound effects. We have some sound effects. These four are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all sound effects. You can uh, increase your volume, lower your volume, um, play. It looks like you have previous music, next music. You have some controls for your audio. And so all your audio items are here. Um, on this. I don't have some of this stuff pre-configured, but I am going to try out one of them. Okay. Now you do, here's one thing that I just, just did right there. It's so good for you to know. So I'm clicking on, I need to be clicked in your mouse must as they, they the term is focus. You have to have focus, right? Your, your mouse, your computer needs to be clicked in on the browser where EVMUX is running in order for these um, stream deck profile keys to work. So now I I'm pressing that and I can hear the sound effect playing. I don't have that piped into the recording, but I am hearing the, the, the DJ air horn. I hear a doorbell. There's a little drum roll. I hear the sad trumpet. And uh, the last one is kind of a, a Super Mario Brothers sound effect. So all of those are there. And um, my apologies for not having that sound piped in. But the idea is these are already pre-configured. These are sound effects that are already in your system. And you could essentially build out the rest of this page with other sound effects, custom sound effects that you have added. And you would simply go through and copy paste what they've done. All right. They've got a whole keystroke here. Shift. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's a control shift six or something like that. So those are some of the things that you can do there on the last screen of the last page, I should say of this profile. Now you ha are dealing with pro scenes and pro scenes. You have all the scenes already here. That's so clutch. So if I click on 
Uh, now again, I have to have focus, right? Click back on EVMUX. When I click on this, it's gonna take me to scene number two. This is this is where the secret sauce is, y'all. This is where the, I, I cannot express how clutch this is when you're able to click on a, a, a scene and have it come up and not have to worry about clicking in multiple places. This is where you want things to be. This is how you want it to function. And, 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 and this is, this is how you want to be able to produce your shows. And maybe you, you just want to go next and previous, you have the ability to do that there. So you have all the scenes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you have next previous, and then you have the name scene and you can always go back to dynamic just by selecting dynamic. So you have the ability to kind of go through and do those things there. And then finally, I have created a page that has kind of all of the buttons on there, all of the things that uh, Stream Deck, that EVMUX has given us in the Stream Deck profile, I've added them to this particular page and you can see that there. I did want you to be able to kind of see what it looks like on the Stream Deck itself so you can see what, all of the different things on the page here. Um, if I go to scene two, now do I have to have focus? If I go to scene two, you can see me changing that. If I go to scene three, you can see that. If I play the sound effect, you can see that. Um, go to scene five back to there. I can go back to dynamic scene. All those things are programmed into the stream deck. I'm not using anything else to manage it. And that is super clutch. One of the things that is uh, not apparent to everyone here is that you have the ability to customize it you still have the ability to utilize hotkeys. You still have the ability to make it your own, right? And just go into the Stream Deck profile, make the changes that you see necessary and kind of go from there. Um, in addition, you still have some other functions and features. We touched on the cut transition. We touched on the new fonts that are now available, but there is some other uh, functions and features that I showcased that I talked about in a previous video. Well, <laughs> where is that previous video? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, right here, I talk about five new features from EVMUX, and I'd love for you to be able to go over there, check them out. I showcase how to use them step by step, how to implement them. And in a different video, I even talk about how to set up vertical scenes with a link to download them. So you may want to just check out the EVMUX playlist, but click right here to watch and I'll see you over there. <laughs> Grace and peace, fam.